welcome back. In the last video, I explained some of the common show commands. In this second of a two-part episode of Cisco Tech Talk, I'll explain some common CLI configuration commands on Cisco Catalyst 1200 and 1300 switches. Next. I'll jump right in where I left off. Before you can do any configurations in CLI, you have to enter the configuration mode of the switch. The command configure terminal brings you into global configuration mode. Here, you can make overall modifications, such as changing the host name of the switch, set an enable password, enable routing, and more. To create VLANs, you need to enter VLAN configuration mode. Type the command VLAN database. After that, enter the VLAN ID and VLAN name you want to create. I'll enter VLAN 4 name test and VLAN 5 name next VLAN. Once you have configured all your VLANs, type exit to get out of VLAN configuration mode. If you also want to exit the configuration mode, type exit a second time. I want to get back into configuration mode, so I'll enter configure terminal. To assign different IP addresses to some of the VLANs, enter the VLAN configuration mode by typing interface, or the abbreviated INT, and then VLAN 4. To configure the IP address, enter the command IP address, the IP address you want, and the prefix length. The prefix length can be done in IP subnet mask format or slash notation. I'll enter IP address 192.168.3.1 slash 24. Type exit when you want to back out of the interface configuration mode. If you want to view the running configuration in global configuration mode, instead of backing out, you can type do show running dash config. You'll see the VLANs that you created along with any assigned IP addresses for the VLANs. In interface mode, you can also configure the VLAN modes on ports. For this example, I'll enter interface GI1 for Gigabit Ethernet 1. To configure this port as a trunk port, I'll enter the command switch port mode trunk. As you can see, VLANs 4 and 5 interfaces are up now. To set up the native VLAN as 5, type switch port trunk native VLAN 5. Alternatively, you can also configure the port to be in access mode by typing switch port mode access. To set up the access VLAN 4 on this port, I'll use the command switch port access VLAN 4. Some commonly used spanning tree protocol, STP commands include spanning dash tree port fast. This is often used on ports that have end devices that don't use STP. It speeds up the time for the port to start forwarding frames. Spanning dash tree BPDU guard enable is often used as a security measure to prevent rogue switches or an error in the network from causing issues with the network's STP topology. To exit the configuration mode directly to privilege exec mode, type end. These configuration changes will reflect in the running configuration. To keep these configurations after a reboot, you need to save the running configuration to the startup configuration. There are a few options I'll show. You can enter the command copy running dash config startup dash config, then enter Y when you are prompted to overwrite the file. Another command for the same result is write memory and then Y to proceed. To reset a switch to factory default settings, type the command reload factory dash default and press enter. Enter Y to continue and the switch will be reset. If you have switch stacking, this command would factory reset all of the switches. If you need to factory reset just one switch, specify the unit number. For example, reload factory dash default unit three. There you have it. Several of the most common CLI commands for the Catalyst 1200 and 1300 switches. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.